If you don't follow every one of Destiny's ex-boyfriends that buddy up to him to later stab him in the back after leeching as much cloud as possible, this is Vouch. Broking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? That still don't care. I still think that, like, um, zoo file porn, like, drawn stuff, it should be 100% legal. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. It is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. That is possible. What if CP is free? If you're not paying for child pornography, then there is no argument in favor of morally condemning people who get it. Bouch is a political commentator slash infamous weird uncle on YouTube who recently had a massive slip up. While streaming, he did this. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! Not a great look for Vouch. While trying to save an image, he accidentally brought up his own personal folders of weird cartoon horses doing unspeakable things to other animated characters. He killed the stream right away, but the damage was already done. People were very quickly able to locate exactly what Uncle Vouch had been looking at. Things went from bad to worse for Vouch as Ethan Klein of H3H3 decided to review Vouch's disturbing horse imagery and other controversies while on their podcast. So let's start from the beginning. So Vosh, yeah, go ahead. Vosh recently, it was a few, yesterday or the day before, he ended his stream in a panic after he accidentally exposed his corn folder. Here is an enhanced version of the it's uh, the thing. I'm not. I obviously can't put this on screen, but Eli, I'll show it to you. Oh. So I'll describe it to you guys. So it's a folder. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so it's a bunch of folders. First of all, the, there's five folders. Old. There's a folder that says old. This this document is called to be sorted. Okay. There's five folders in it. Old taxes. Taxes. <laughs> <laughs> XXX gifts. XXX pics and XXX vids. Wow. XXX tassion. <laughs> so organized. And now you get to the kind of unsorted downloaded images the that are populating miscellaneous <laughs> and it's yet to be sorted now the first thing i'm noticing is a king garu from legend the new legend of zelda and it appears to be i can't be sure but it appears to be king garu porn <laughs> and dan pointed out king garu is horse like that's the one he Svash wants to fuck oh it's definitely horse like yeah. definitely Probably not something. human Right. Yeah. That. And then we move to the other parts. And love, you've you kind of know the specifics about the what's in here. Not yeah. be, not to saying anything, but you did. Right. You are boots on the ground. You put. Yeah. In I, yesterday when we were talking about it on the live stream, I found a Twitter thread saying that one of the animes depicted in these thumbnails are apparently of a the main character in that anime is sixteen. Just looks like. Hentai, here's some horse, big ass horse cocks. Here's a girl treating a horse cock. Here's a horse cock silhouette with a big horse cock. Here's more Lord Raru fury stuff. You see the horse here? Oh. And then this is a horse dick. <laughs> okay, I look don't know at this one about below. nobody. This is the cartoon character that's 16. Let me double. I don't want to say for sure, but I believe so. Do you see this? Yeah. This. What do you think of that? 16 is the age of That's consent. vile. I don't like it. It looks oh. like a 14 year old girl. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> oh, it's a VTuber. Yeah, so not I... not Suru Matsuri. Maybe some people know who that is. I don't know, but here you can I'll show you the picture of her. She is like clearly a child. Age 16, it says here. But mm. that's like a that's like a young 16, too, I feel like. Oh. So he has some very Graphic. Oh, oh, yeah, it's just this no. Is, oh, I didn't realize what you were pulling up. Yeah, this yeah, is this just is okay to show. the page about the character's virtual. She's a VTuber, I guess, or I don't, I don't know what all that means. Well, let's go through the logic. Why is the possession of child pornography 
immoral because it hurts people to make child pornography, yeah? Because you have to hurt children to make it. That's why it's immoral. It's not magically immoral. It's immoral because of the harm that is caused by it. So, do we not possess other things that you sound hurt like someone who's trying to rationalize child abuse? Like, like that is yeah. an insane. Mm -hmm. That's actually. It's like okay, this is wrong. That is not better. People who do horrible shit, they rationalize it in their minds so they can live with it. This man says you eat chocolate and you dare to care about child pornography. That's what his point is, right? Oh my god, it's just like every other clip of you quote-unquote defending CP. Yep, it's just like the other 47 times this has happened. Now- That doesn't seem like an exaggeration. Well, why though. are you defending it 47 times? I think he's kidding. He's kidding. Or is he not kidding? Well, we've- we well, already we seen in the that highlight that clip- that is kind of true, because there are a yeah, lot of clips, so- Just from what we've seen in the highlight clip. Oh. Uh, and- and by the way, this never comes up in person when people talk to me. It well, okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's fair. I guess it doesn't matter. Everyone's then. a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I bit. I dare you to call me a pedophile in my face. It is possible. Please, uh, please, right now, uncuck your dumb shit, libcuck, fucking SJW brains, okay, I'm doing and that. recognize <laughs> this empirically correct fact that I am about to spit. It is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship, and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. That is possible. No, yeah, you know. What? However, categorically, no, don't. However, it's not. Discourage the, the, those relationships because, as a rule, it is substantial. He's sweating, bro. He knows he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he knows, dude. His career is flashing before his eyes. He said too much. No. You're saying in no cases is this possible. I'm saying this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. It's upsetting. <laughs> yeah, they're really I mean, upsetting. But they're just being thoroughly embarrassed by both leaking his own weird horse proclivities and being smacked down by H3H3, Bausch felt the best thing to do was to immediately go live to discuss the events that had transpired. Unfortunately for Bausch, it comes across as a man being interrogated for murder as he sweats while trying to come to grips with where it all went wrong. Horse haircut? Wouldn't that be like a long mohawk? Hey, Ovash, I heard your uh, child slavery tunnels got discovered and put on blast. What's, what's the term for an underage horse? A uh, kid? That's a goat. For those of you who don't know, Ethan Klein and his um, uh, friends over in the H3 pod dedicated about two hours of the podcast to doing like a, like the platonic ideal of a bad faith, Vosh is a pedophile takedown. Mostly just really saddening because I thought that um, Ethan Klein and I were on good terms, which I know he made fun of. I think at some point he was like, huh, as if I would ever be friends with this pedophile. I think it's just because people hate me, because uh, this was like a fully prepared hit piece. I don't want to watch it, honestly, it would just upset me. The whole horse thing was some kind of, like, secret that I'm trying to play off as a joke. Like, they were like, ah, we found out, like, he really does like horse dicks or whatever. And it's just an effort at, like, character assassination, right? I have done and said, like, I would say fairly sussy stuff in the time that I've been streaming, you know? I have no filter, um, not to like blame autism or whatever, but um, and I'm a wacky, wacky guy. Uh, initial clips where I was comparing child pornography and child slavery, like, uh, you know, work exploitation, I don't think it's wrong for a person to look at that and go, huh, that's pretty suspicious. Like, hey, I understand that this looks bad. I hide everything. Conspiracism for the purpose of making me seem more sinister than I am. That Ethan said that I had like a folder full of CP or something. What the fuck? But this isn't a subject that I find particularly um, gratifying. Things were past discussion. It is just now convenient to hate me. He's been waiting for an environment where you could call me a pedophile. <laughs> Obviously, it goes without saying that this is like an egregious attack on my career. I know that what I've done and what I've said is justifiable because I've justified it. The fact that I'm charismatic, handsome, charming, awesome, have all right opinions, etc. I, I mentioned that Luna Oi called me a pedo, and then I said no, and then I explained the difference between rule and act utilitarianism. The well is so poisoned that in all likelihood, the only thing I could ever do if going on would be to act out the role 
of a flustered buffoon. Look, I liked the politics. A lot of people legitimately could not handle this level of stress. I don't think that I'm as repellent as my reputation would indicate. I mean, the like child pornography versus child labor in foreign countries thing. Yeah, people, people like to say, bro, why does this keep coming up with you? When they don't understand, other people bring it up, it, which is what's happening now. You know, like all of this gets logged as like, why does he keep talking about it? Because people keep bringing it up, but ignoring it makes me look bad because it makes it look like I'm avoiding the, you know, like he's hiding, uh, you're, you're running, you know. Ethan literally said the thing you do is admit you have sexual deviant problems and go to a therapist. You mean with regards to the horse thing? Really a joke, man. The horse, th the horse thing is not a joke. This is... We can't let this, we can't let this be smeared, okay? If, to whatever extent, you know, people can say, uh, oh, we place it off as this or that, okay? I'll make it clear. You can write this down. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. My moral principles are rock solid. Well, why do you want to be the horse, Vosh? Because then I'd have a giant dick, okay? Couldn't you have an, a, a big dick the other way? Well, yeah, I could. Like, yeah, I could have a big dick hypothetically in any variety of scenarios, but then it wouldn't really be a horse dick. Well, you could be a human with a horse dick. Yes, but then I wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy using it. There you go. Well, if they ever develop some kind of invasive surgical procedure that does in fact harm a horse, but allows my consciousness to be transferred into their brain, uh, then we might have an issue. They say you downloaded Lollicon. I'll explain the whole thing. Um, and it opened up the, uh, uh, the folder preview, which showed thumbnails of images that I had in there. A lot of which were pornographic, most of which, because there are far more pornographic images of Raru in there than there are non-pornographic images. But honestly, Raru just looks so good that even non-pornographic images feel pornographic to me. Why would you keep your porn in the stream? It's to be sorted. I'm not arguing this with you guys anymore about it, okay? Because it's a to be sorted folder, which had the taxes in it, you know, whatever. Also, which need to be sorted. I, I, I don't get what's complicated about it. Anyway, of the images that showed two of them, were from the same artist. Two of them, those from that artist, that artist turned out to be a lolicon. Talking about this is always like a double-edged sword because I can't show to defend myself, nor would I encourage you to go look it up because this is a lolicon artist to that, you know? But one of them, one of the two images from this lolicon artist, okay, to be clear, one of them flatly did not look like Lolicon. I'm sorry, you can say it's defensive. I think that's bullshit. I literally went back and looked. The chick is like six heads tall. Hope it's all okay or none of it is okay. What does that mean? What are you talking about? I don't I don't even know what you mean when you say that. The other one um, is like a threesome with two chicks and a guy. And in retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lolicon, yeah, I can see it. When I looked at it, I think the vibe that I got was like short stack thick kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, like the way uh, like goblins get drawn in porn. But you know how they're all like, Thick short stacks, right? That was the vibe that I got, but now knowing that the artist is a lolicon, which I have been roundly reminded of, obviously knowing that it was intended to be a lolly drawing. So like, that's how it is, right? It's a drawing, you get it without context. I know that when I save them, I save them because both the drawings have like a meaty dick in it and I'm a huge size queen. At first glance, the vibe would be more thick short stack, but there's no way to talk about it in a way that meaningfully exonerates my behavior. This has of course led to a bunch of robust discussion in my community on the nature of lolicon porn, which is fantastic guys, just fantastic. You could be looking at like an eight heads tall woman with like an hourglass shape and big tits. And then you like look up the character and the character is 14. It's like, well, all right. Okay. Once had images on my laptop of anime characters in a college setting and my brother thought it was CP and made a whole thing of it. Ah, uh, that fucking sucks. Yee. The red-haired girl? Oh yeah, that was good art. And you, Vosh? Ew! What the fuck is you? This is gorgeous art. Okay, Vosh, the foreskin thing is weird. I I don't I I don't I don't care. Th yeah. Hey, this painting of a chick like licking a, a, a cock, but a, like the tongue goes out of foreskin. Like, oh, that's weird. Do you think you have anything on me? Who's Poppy? Um, before I even had a channel, there was a girl on Discord I was creepy to, like harassing her. I was not intended at the time, like I didn't think I was harassing her, but I was being pretty weird to her, okay? You could be like, I think I'm really into horse penises, and I'd be like, heckin' yeah! Oh, I am super into horse dick.
It's psychologically difficult to grapple with at times. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 just being any other drama, 10 being this is Vosh's 9-11, how bad do you think this is for you? Pretty near as bad as it gets, at least for me emotionally. I don't know, Vosh, blatant bestiality isn't really something most people are okay with, regardless of why you like it. Hey, first of all, drawn, not only, not even drawn, AI generated, didn't even show the good horse cock when I saved the image to the thing, I swear. I, I don't care about what other people have to say about the whole I think it'd be hot to fuck a chick as a horse thing. It sounds weird to say out loud. To me, in my mind, it's just like, yeah, obviously, you're a horse. Like, rad, you're a horse, dude. I don't really care what other people's assessment of that is, to be honest. None of this would be a public issue if it wasn't for people uh, like collating leaked Discord logs of me saying I like horse cock. Vosh, they took old Discord texts of you talking about horse cocks, once more deferring to something people often say to excuse their bad behavior. I am autistic. So what is Ethan really saying when he calls you a pedophile? You know, that sounds like a joke message, but I wish I knew the answer. I don't think that not being autistic would tell me, though. Does this confirm you're a power top? That was already known. Of course, the past few days have been in a bad mood because... All this bullshit because of a to-be-sorted folder. Honestly. Maybe it's an autism thing. Maybe I can't read the signs. I don't know. Oh, I am super into horse dick. Is this guy seriously saying that I can't get laid? Incredible, I'll give you 5,000 if you can get Poontang before January 1st. Do you have any idea who the fuck you're talking to? When I got off, tin when I got off Tinder because of the fucking quarantine, Tacoma wept. <laughs> Brother. Even, like ignoring the fact that I have a girlfriend, even if we're just talking like randos, I'm two hours away right now from being inside somebody else. This is one, I, I have two skills and it's non-monogamy and speaking publicly, okay? <laughs> Do some fucking research. What? Dude, fucking Do freak. some research. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, pretty boy. Cool. Mm -hmm. Please do come visit. Man, these guys really love horses. Those guys, they must be cowboys or something. This is the most incredible turn on an approach like this. This is the most incredible turn on. The most incredible turn on? Oh. Gross, dude.